for example 3 find the solution of this differential equation y double prime plus 2y prime minus 3y equal to 5 exponent minus 3x now our function fx is equal to exponent so if we refer to our table if our function is an exponent c exponent ax so yp will become another constant d exponent ax multiply with xs okay so let's start our calculation firstly we are going to find our yh since everybody already know how to find our yh so now i just directly write our yh okay i have my lambda 1 is equal to 1 and lambda 2 is equal to minus 3 so from here our general solution yh is equal to a exponent x plus b exponent minus 3x now let's find our yp yp based on our fx since our fx is equal to 5 exponent minus 3x and based on our table our yp is equal to c exponent minus 3x multiply with x to the power of s so before we differentiate our equation first let's compare with our yh so from here we can see we have a same element so the same element is exponent minus 3x here is equal to this term so from here our s is equal to 1 so yp is equal to cx exponent minus 3x so now we can direct uh, we can differentiate our yp twice since this is a product of polynomial and exponent that means we need to use product rule to differentiate our yp so differentiate for the first time i will have c e minus 3x minus 3 c x e minus 3x then differentiate for the second time i will have minus 3 c e minus 3x again this one we need to differentiate by using product rule i will have minus 3 c e minus 3x plus 9 c x e minus 3x now we already have yp yp prime and yp double prime so let's substitute these three equation into our problem so substitute everything i will have y double prime okay i will have uh, this one we can simplify actually here we can cancel minus 3 c e plus 3 c we can cancel so we just have 9 c x e minus 3 x plus 2 y prime so this is our y prime c e minus 3 x minus 3 c x e minus 3 x okay and then minus 3 y our y p c x e minus 3 x is equal to 5 exponent minus 3 x so we just need to expand and we just need to compare both sides so we will have our equation 9cxe minus 3x plus 2ce minus 3x minus 6cxe 3x minus 3cxe minus 3x is equal to 5e minus 3x so from here i can see we have the thing that we can cancel 9c minus 6c minus 3c 0 so we just have 2c equal to 5 so c is equal to 5 over 2 so our yp is equal to 5 over 2 x e minus 3 x and our general solution we just need to combine our yh and our yp so we will have y is equal to a exponent x plus b e minus 3 x plus 5 over 2 x e minus 3 x and the last example for this topic 
let's try to solve uh, one application problem. So in a galvanometer, the deflection theta satisfy the differential equation. d square theta dt square plus 4 d theta dt plus 4 theta equal to 8. So this is a non-homo since our ft is not equal to 0. And our ft, okay, we have a constant function. So now we are going to solve the equation for theta and given to us the initial condition when t equal to 0, our theta and also our d theta dt is equal to 2. So let's start our calculation. So firstly, we are going to find theta h. Theta h comes from homogeneous equation. That's mean theta double prime plus 4 theta prime plus 4 theta equal to 8. Uh, and then we change into our characteristic equation lambda square plus 4 lambda plus 4 equal to 8. We factorize, we have equal roots. That means lambda 1 equal to lambda 2 is equal to minus 2. Since we have equal roots, so our general solution for equal theta h is equal to a plus b t exponent minus 2t. This is our theta h. Next, we are going to find our theta p. Theta p based on our ft. Our ft is equal to 8. So, based on the table, our theta p is equal to t multiplied with t to the power of s. Okay, so before we differentiate twice, let's compare between theta p and theta h. We have the same element or not? Of course, we don't have any same element. This one a with exponent, this one b with t and exponent. Okay, so since we don't have our uh, same element, then our s is equal to 0. So our theta p is equal to c only. Now let's differentiate twice. So theta prime, we will have 0. And differentiate again, we will have 0 also. The next one, we just need to substitute into our original problem. So we will have the first term 0, second term 0. So the last term also, uh, we just have the last term. 4 theta, that means we have 4c equal to 8. So from here, we have c equal to 8 over 4 is equal to 2. So theta p is equal to 2. Lastly, let's combine theta h plus theta p. So theta is equal to theta h plus theta p is equal to a exponent minus 2t plus b t exponent minus 2t plus 2. So this is our general solution. But the question asks to find the particular solution. That means we are going to find the value for A and B. So let's continue. Our initial condition given, when T equal to 0, theta is equal to 2. And when T equal to 0, our D theta DT is also equal to 2. So this is our general solution. Theta is equal to A exponent minus 2T plus B T exponent minus 2T plus 2. So, let's substitute the first initial condition first. When T equal to 0, theta equal to 2. So, we will have A exponent 0 plus 0 plus 2 equal to 2. So from here, a plus 2 is equal to 2. So a is equal to 0. So our equation become theta is equal to b t e minus 2t plus 2. Then, the next initial condition, we need to differentiate since we have d theta dt. So differentiate this equation. Okay, please remember, this is the product between polynomial and exponent. So, you need to apply product rules. So, d theta dt is equal to 
D exponent minus 2T minus 2BT exponent minus 2T plus 2. plus eh, plus 0. Okay, differentiate 2 is equal to 0. So now we uh, we substitute the initial uh, the initial condition. So we will have b exponent zero minus two b multiply zero exponent zero is equal to two. So this is zero. So b is equal to two. So our particular solution is equal to two t e minus two t plus two is equal to our theta. I hope everybody can understand uh, my explanation in for chapter 2. I hope everybody can um, determine the difference between homogeneous equation and non-homogeneous equation. How to solve for homogeneous equation and how to solve for non-homogeneous equation. So all the best and thank you.